All right, I finished Perfect Health Diet, or PhD, which is a good read book, okay, and a good reference book. It's, it's not an entirely compelling book to read. You see the authors right there. One's, uh, yeah, Chinese. Shu Qing. It's, it's, it's a, it's like a combination of, of a good, of a good read and a good reference, okay? Because there's charts and graphs and diagrams. I, I took some notes here. There's just so much good information about, about uh, a whole range of, of ideas on how to eat. They do refer to other books, which is helpful, like the, the China Study on page 202, and the In Defense of Foods, which I read before this. They say that In Defense of Foods uh, only goes so far in, in uh, making references to how to eat. This, this book will... Uh, take it a step further and be more specific on the amounts of certain foods that you need to eat to be healthy Okay They say fish oil is is no good It may protect the heart, but it doesn't stop cancer. So I've had bad experiences with fish oil So it confirms uh, my exp my problems. I wanted to point out a, a chart on, on food there's vitamin K2, which Weston Price believes is the difference between healthy cultures and unhealthy cultures. Vitamin K2 is is found uh, is eaten more often by the the, the more remote uh, co uh, villages, more remote cultures that have the more natural diet, who aren't influenced by overprocessed food, because. A lot of people who live in civilized civilized worlds have uh, more more nutri nutrient deficiencies because just food is over processed. Okay, it's hard. It's it's just people people want that quick food. Uh, omega six is bad, of course. If you have too much omega six, then it's re recommended to have more omega three. But overall, cut back on your omega six. That's that's pretty much. They recommended like starving for like thir 16 hours. They're like per they're so specific, and they refer to a lot of studies and and uh, and graphs and stuff to to form their arguments to form these specific arguments. Starve yourself for 16 hours periodically. Okay, you don't need to do a 20, full 24 hours, and you don't need to suffer. If you are really suffering, have a little food. Okay, you don't, you don't, it's not, it's not a test of will when it comes to, to uh, starving yourself, all right, but when you have natural whole foods, then you're not going to be so tempted to overeat generally anyway, okay, and they say that having smaller portion meals is, is, uh, in a study has shown that people have lived longer off of that. They refer to the rabbit starvation, which which actually is better detail. I could go to that because I read about that from some kind of survival guide saying that you can't just survive on rabbits. And well they're saying ammonia's toxicity. That's the thing. That's why I found this book is a little controversial in ways to me. Okay, among, from what I read about rabbit diets was there's just not enough fats. Yeah, lean rabbits. They even say lean rabbits. Rabbit starvation because it's uh, it's it's uh, low in fats. I should have read this over again. You store you store both fat and sugar in the muscle too. They're saying. But they're they're trying to help make the the diets more balanced and help people avoid uh, any deficiencies and or excesses, and they really go on the specifics. So 
you read it through and then you use it as a reference afterward. It's a combination of both. Um, so that's something uh, something that's helpful for, for people who may really be struggling with diets.